Hi Matt, yeah, not to worry and serve the troubles, but I do know what's going on, and it's just the fact the logo is just a little bit taller than the nav bar. And what it's doing is, okay, when we scroll down the page, basically what happens is, see how the bar slides back into place? In order to make it do that, what happens, there's a JavaScript in the site or in the page, it creates a clone of the original nav bar. So when you scroll down, it actually can load it into the page, sort of like, Joo, and it you know, sort of slides in with a different color and whatnot. Because up here, it's semi-transparent, it's a different size. Down here, it slides in, it's smaller, and it's a different color. And in order to do that, we have some JavaScript that makes it happen. But... We have a height to the nav bar, and if there is uh, something in there that's a little bit taller, that can sometimes throw things off. So let me just have a quick look to see where, where, where. It's in the sticky menu bar. Now, let me just uh, open up the site, and, uh, and I'll just actually run through it in the site with an editor for you. Okay, so try this out. Um, I noticed that your menu bar, sorry, your menu bar, your logo was 119 pixels tall. So go down to your, open up your site styles, menubar.css, and try this. See the height down here, line 271 or so? Change that to 119. The number below it, change that to 119. And right down here, change that to 119 as well. And I think that's all we have to do. Okay, so what will happen is your menu bar will now match the height of your logo. So the cloning bits and pieces should work because now it all understands, okay, image this big instead of, you know, having a, a, a minimum height, I think, 65 pixels, and the image is trying to push it out past that, then it just gets duplicated because the JavaScript just gets confused because it doesn't know how tall things should actually be. So give that a shot and let me know how it works.